Welcome to our YouTube channel, Admets Resmats. I am now going to deal with applications of our previous lesson in part 1, the application of chain rule. There are certain problems that might be involving chain rule, just like some other concepts in mathematics. Here are the problems. Number 1, find the gradient of the curve y is equal to the quantity of 2x minus 5 to the power of 4 at the point 3, 1. Remember, when we say gradient of a curve, it is always determined by the point. Okay, You cannot give immediately the gradient of the, the curve if you don't have the point. Okay, Because the gradient of the curve is being determined at a certain point. And at that certain point, there is a value of x and a value of y. The x coordinate and the y coordinate. What you will consider here is the x coordinate. Okay? That x coordinate will be substituted to the derivative or the differentiation of this function. So what is the differ differentiation of the function? Let's just apply chain rule since we are doing application of chain rule over here. Let's do number one. Okay, now let's do it over here. Number one. Okay, number one is chain rule dy over dx will be equivalent to. Okay, I am basically doing the cover up method. I put in the four, four. Okay. I'll put in 2x minus 5. 4 minus 1 is 3 multiplied by, let's not use that x. I'll multiply it with the derivative of 2x minus 5, the one inside. Okay, what is the derivative of 2x minus 5? It is 2. So, therefore, dy over dx is equal now to 8. The quantity of 2x minus 5 to the power of 3. Thus, okay, since it is, we are looking for the gradient. Remember, dy over dx is always the gradient of the tangent at a certain point. So, therefore, gradient of the curve. Okay. Gradient of the curve is equivalent now to 8 times, okay, times 2 times, what is the x? See, this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. We are just considering the x coordinate this time because we are only looking for the gradient. So, it will just become 3. Then, minus 5, then to the power of 3. Okay, you can actually do it in your calculator already. Calculator will give you immediately the answer. 2 times 3 minus 5 to the power of 3, which is equivalent to 8. So, the gradient of the curve at point 3, 1 is equivalent to 8. Okay, next, how about number 2? Number 2 says, find the gradient of the curve y is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 5 at, a, at the points where the curve crosses the y at the x-axis. Okay, if the curve crosses the x-axis, you notice there is a clue on the words itself. Okay, you take a look at, it says, points. Points means it's not a single point. It means there might be two or more. I don't know if it's three, I don't know if it's four, but I can, I have the idea that it's not a single point because of the sentence. So sometimes word problems will give you hints okay so 
you have to be very careful in understanding a word problem. Okay? Next. So, how do we get into solving this problem? Basically, when we say where the curve crosses the x-axis means these are x-intercepts. And by definition, x-intercepts is or x-intercepts are always defined by the point 0, uh, x, the value of the x, comma, 0. So it means the value of the y is always 0. So in number 2, to solve this, we make y0 is equal now to x plus, okay, 4 over x minus 5. Okay? If you're going to uh, study this, this will become negative x is equal to 4 over x minus 5. Thus, it will become negative x squared plus 5x is equal to 4. Thus, it will become okay, 0 equals x squared minus 5x plus 4. Okay? So, it's just basically like that so that we can be able to solve the value of the x because you cannot give the gradient of the curve at those points and you don't know those points yet. Okay? What you know is only those points are in the x or on the x-axis. Okay? They are on the x-axis, but you don't know specifically what are those points. So, you need to find the value of the x. Remember, x-intercepts are always defined by x, comma, 0. Okay? So, what are those points? It is x minus 1 and x minus 4. Okay? So, x now is equal to 1. That's the first value of the x. And the second value of the x is equal to 4. Now, we can find the gradient of the curve. Because, remember, if it is 1 and x, then those points now are 1, 0, and 4, 0. Okay? Thus, I need to find out now the dy over dx of this function. How will I look for the dy over dx of the function? Okay, dy over dx is equivalent now to d over dx of x plus d over dx of what? 4, okay, 4 times x minus 5 to the power of negative 1. Why did I wrote it like that? x minus 5 to the power of negative 1. Because, basically, you don't have a rule yet. Okay, We haven't learned any rule yet that will, will give you something like this unless you know already the quotient rule. But quotient rule will make it a little bit more uh, complicated. Okay? And I advise that you don't use the quotient rule if Okay, you don't have a variable x on the numerator. If you only have a constant number on the numerator, then it's better for us to apply chain rule rather than quotient rule. Okay, so what is the d over dx of x? It is equivalent to 1. Okay, plus what is the d over dx of this? Okay, basically you apply chain rule, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So this will become negative 4 instead of plus 4. Okay, then bracket x minus 5 to the power of negative 2. And you get the derivative of x minus 5 which is 1. How did I know it's 1? Because this is 1. 1 times x power of 0 is 1. 
Okay, the derivative of negative 5 is 0. Okay, that's why it's only 1. Next, this will now be simplified as 1 minus 4 over x minus 5 to the power of 2. So that is the value of the dy over dx. Did we get the final answers already? Not yet. Let me erase this part so that we have space over here. Okay. So, gradient of the curve. Okay. Gradient of the curve. Where are those gradient of the curve? At point Okay, at point 1 0, let's say at point 1 0 there and point 4 0. Let's start first with at point 1 0. So basically, since it is at point 1, 0, then I'll change this value of x to 1. Okay, so the answer here will be 1 minus 4 over 1 minus 5 to the power of 2. What is 1 minus 5? It is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. 4 over 16 is 1 over 4. 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4. That's one of the answers. How about if it is at point 4, 0? If it is at point 4, 0, it will become 1 minus 4 over 4 minus 5 to the power of 2. What is 4 minus 5? It is negative 1. Negative 1 to the power of one uh, 2 is equivalent to 1. 4 divided by 1 is 4. 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3. So another answer here is negative 3. So the final answers for number 2 are 3 over 4 and negative 3. Okay. I hope you have learned something in watching this video. Thank you and God bless. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell button to be updated with our newest video about mathematics and additional mathematics.